Welcome to Gaming Fair in your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. And my friends, I want to make a little update on the Blue Bull team stock. I talked already about this in my previous video. You might have seen this video. If not, then please check this out. And in this video, I in the previous video, I make a, a stock analysis of Blue Bull stock. So, and I go a little bit more deeper there. So unfortunately, this video only got like 88 views and I released it for four days ago. And this actually is also one part of my thesis, because I was saying in the previous video, I was saying that I think the Bluebird stock will drop on release of Silent Hill 2. So the sale, it's a sale, the, uh, the event uh, situation. That's what I said. This was my thesis. But then for example, and then we saw actually that um, uh, that uh, Silent Hill 2 was an overwhelming positive game. It has now 8,000 positive reviews. That, that's pretty good. And we saw here, uh, we saw actually a big jump of 14%. So since then, we came from those 14%. We went even down again 11%. And now we're stabilizing. So we're stabilizing. So, but I think personally, guys, so this is no financial advice. I'm a YouTuber, retail investor. This is for information and entertainment purposes only. I think we're going to see more the 22 and 21 uh, Polish slotties and could even drop to the 15. So yeah, this even the 15 is is a, is a range where I have myself uh, put an order uh, because I was actually selling Bluebird team. So it was a little bit by mistake, I would say, because I had a stop loss, but it's not changing my, uh, it's not changing my, 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 my thesis that I think that the stock is continuing to drop, even if the game uh, is a big success. I mean, overwhelming positive is great, but overwhelming positive for a game doesn't mean it's a big, uh, it's big, big financial success. So that's always something we have to keep in mind. So, I mean, I absolutely congratulate the Bluebird team for uh, Silent Hill 2. And uh, I'm also going to buy and buy the game at one point and also going to play it. So for sure, that's what I'm doing. But uh, is this what 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 is the real reaction on the stocks long term i want to say also i believe in bluebird team they have good partnerships they will continue with good games and long term this is an extremely interesting stock but in the medium term so something that depends highly on the uh, on the numbers of silent hill that they were actually selling <laughs> To basically how much money they they made so in the in the medium term i think it's a big possibility that we drop down so would i short it no of course i wouldn't short it because i'm not crazy and bluebird team is also small stock it's a micro stock it's way too small stocks were uh, 480 million uh, polish slot so shorting the stock uh, most probably uh, it doesn't even work uh, that you that you probably get get some uh, 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 possibility to short it. So at the moment, twenty thousand are online. So we had a highest value of people online was twenty three twenty four thousand, but we had followers of eighty six thousand. So this is also part of my thesis. I think the value uh, of twenty four thousand with regard to eighty eighty six thousand in the follower range that's not so good because also we saw in Frostpunk for eleven bit we saw that actually if eleven bit was dropping massively because exactly it's it's like one fourth here this is like one fourth of the follower rate so not so many people in the end bought this game they they might buy this game and the later uh, stage but not so many people bought this game so the expectation my friends the expectation of uh, big investors of analysis was uh, probably by 70 uh, 80 thousand followers you would uh, expect and 60 thousand followers so basically having the uh, 60 thousand gamers uh, and the highest value than having only 20,000. That's just not enough, guys. So, all right. So on also we can go on Steam chart and on Steam chart we get get some nice statistics. So I recommend everyone uh, to check this out. So of course we have then also to to consider that this game is going to be uh, sold also to the consoles and not only to 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 Steam. So but this this is the Steam chart. So if I look here. <sighs> looks not so bad i mean we have owner estimations between 150,000 and 250,000 so let's look by vg insights for example quick stats so we see ah uh, we see 14.1 million cross revenue and i think this is for pc only 
41 point million cross revenue in dollars. So let's let's also uh, we have to understand this is a licensed IP that is published by Konami. So I don't know how much how much of those 41 million or even then when we take the consoles into account. So it should be way, way more. How much really comes to Blue Party? Maybe more comes to Konami. So yeah, average playtime 6.9 hours and 251,000 units uh, sold. But if we click on Gamelytic, Gamelytic, some more information. So players by country, here they say, for example, the US is on the top and then Japan only 5.3%, another 36.9%. Hmm. Copy sold in the last seven days, 114,000. That's already good. So then followers, 83,000, copy sold 114,000. But the number of players is, is, is not really high. So, but it doesn't matter if people play the game. I mean, what matters is how much copy sold. Hmm. So owners 150,000. So then we have copy sold 150,000 roundabout cross revenue 9.3 million, 4.6 million, 5, 14 million. So this is the range. So this is the range. So uh, now I would say the numbers look good, but it's also part of the Konami will also get its shares. The sold numbers are good. The player numbers are not so good, but what impact will this have on the stock? So. I expect the stock actually when then the numbers come out that we might see a little bit lower numbers than expected and then Bluebird can be affected. This is the bear thesis, but we, I can also give you, of course, a, a bull thesis. The bull thesis is that since they managed, now comes the bull thesis, so don't, don't, don't misunderstand me. So I try to look at it from different sides. The bull thesis is they, they deliver an overwhelming positive game and gamers are happy and actually they sell decent amount of uh, numbers uh, of copies so now for example konami says we give you a lot of money to to make more games or other companies come say we give you a lot of money to revive remake other horror franchises other games that we are maybe even cooperating with capcom just imagine this so everything is possible so this would mean actually that this little bluebird team is going to be able to create more games and create a bigger back catalog and then i come to my bull thesis to the long-term uh, success uh, maybe going uh, you know, maybe even a 10 bagger so everything is possible so I'm not even excluding this but in the short term so I think we might come back under the 20 slotties so I have my order there I'm not saying this just because uh, I sold out a little bit I want to have actually have a bit of bigger stake in Bluebird team and I'm looking forward actually to increase my stake and also to buy in again so now I made money that's all I wanted to do uh, now I'm waiting uh, to make a little bit more money but let's see how this develops so at the moment uh, I tend that I tend to to the fact that we might see lower numbers in the future all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video it gives you some food for thought so obviously you make your own due diligence you don't listen to me it's your own money that you invest and if you invest your money in a bad stock so and you lose all the money then my friends it's your own decision so that's what i can say i mean i can't say more so i just want to give give you ideas and to use your brain to to uh, to set up your own actions thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye Bye.